This week is Yom HaShoah. We remember the six million who perished in the Holocaust. We remember the survivors and their struggle through unimaginable horrors to make it out of Nazi Europe alive. It is a day of mourning for Jews across the world. One of the most powerful and enduring songs to have emerged from the Holocaust is Zognit Kemo, the hymn of the partisans, Shira Partizani. Hirsch Glick of the Vilna Ghetto wrote the words in 1943 after being inspired by the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising. It's a stirring, inspiring, and proud anthem. The first stanza tells the listener, never say you are going on your final road, although leaden skies block out blue days. Our longed-for hour will yet come. Our step will beat out. We are here. Don't lose hope, the listener is told. We will survive. It's a message of great optimism. The song recognizes the difficulty, pain, and suffering that its listeners experienced, but still holds out against total despair. The hopeful message is not an ephemeral notion. It is rooted in the idea that there are Jews across Europe who are part of an organized and armed resistance. It is rooted in an ethos of defiance. It is rooted in the deeply Jewish idea that God helps those who help themselves. The great Rabbi Hillel said, if I am not for myself, who is for me? And being for my own self, what am I? And if not now, when? The Bielski brothers, leaders of the Jewish partisans, were based in Belarus. Tuvia, Alexander, Asael, and Aaron organized attacks on German soldiers and collaborators. But their main goal wasn't an offensive one, it was defensive. Tuvia Bielski once said, it is more important to save Jews than to kill Germans. The Bielskis succeeded in creating a community of over 1,200 Jews. Their actions saved the lives of over 1,200 Jews. Indeed, the brothers understood Rabbi Hillel's dictum. They understood that they could not count on others to rescue them. They understood that they couldn't be only for themselves. They had to consider the welfare of their fellow Jews. And they had to act now. The hymn of the partisans, Zognit Kemal, says, this song is written with our blood. Those who were part of the resistance showed great selflessness and great sacrifice. They showed that Yom HaShoah isn't only about Jewish victimhood. They showed that the Holocaust is about the six million, but it isn't only about the six million. They showed that the Shoah is about Nazi persecution, but it isn't only about Nazi persecution. It's also about acts of courage. It's also about acts of selflessness and kindness. And it's also about defiance and resistance. It's about the will to survive and to cry out, never again. <laughs>